What's up guys? It is a beautiful Saturday here in Kola Yugani. I'm going to be checking out a new trail called Croce Tecnica and it starts off with a nice drop. So that's how you know it's going to be a good trail. Check out this thing. Send it right off of there and down the trail you go. And it's called Croce Tecnica so you know it's going to be technical. Let's go check it out. I'm riding with a viewer, Alberto, and a couple of his friends, and this is a black diamond trail in Kol Yugani. We did no warm up, we just jumped straight into it, and I'm riding super sloppy, and I crashed in just a moment. <laughs> Whoops. Like all my crashes, I always immediately assess what happened and what went wrong. And the situation here was I was following Alberto, but then I thought to myself, what if I take that line over there on the left? And I made the mistake of looking to the left. And any experienced riders out there know, you look where you go. And the moment I looked left, even though I realized it wasn't where I wanted to be, and I looked back to the right, I had already started to drift that way. And over to the left, I went continue down down the trail following Alberto, but this was a little bit sloppy and this trail was also super fun. So when we got to the bottom, we turned around, we headed back up to the top and I got a fresh look at the trail, taking the lead and it was a blast. I was super impressed with this Croce Technica trail. So impressed in fact that I ended up coming back again the next day on Sunday and I rode with some other friends and showed them Croce Technica and we also went and hit DH Pistino. And if you didn't see my video on DH Pistino, they've got some awesome jump features over there. So I've got a few clips here that I tossed in and it was a super fun time just hitting all the jumps and the drops and this one gap in particular, I sent it and it was huge, super long. I was really stoked about that. Finally starting to feel like I'm getting comfortable jumping again and flying through the air and it is such a great feeling. Also, if you follow me on Instagram or Facebook, you may have seen this post already, but I have a story that I wanna share with you guys. The other day, I was out practicing flying my drone. A fan of the channel actually recognized me and he stopped to say hello. And so I told him, hey, when you leave, I'll get a sweet follow cam shot of you. And he asked, want me to do a wheelie? <laughs> Heck yeah, of course I do. So here's the result of that. Man, I felt so bad. Mattia ripped an absolutely awesome wheelie 
all the way down the road nonstop. He held it the whole way, but I crashed not even two seconds into it. <laughs> Like I said, guys, I'm still learning, and I was out practicing my skills, and you know, sometimes things just don't really go to plan. Felt terrible, so I chased down the road to catch up to Mattia. I don't even know if he noticed or not, but here's a few more clips of him headed down the road. All right, jumping back into things in Col Yugani. After riding Croce Technica, we then ended up taking Secret down back into town. And man, the trails were so much different than just a few videos ago when I was riding Secret and a few other trails with my friends on e-bikes. And now, instead of it being muddy and wet, it's super sandy, nothing but dust. Made it super interesting trying to maintain traction. And it's so different coming off of winter when I've only been riding in wet conditions. Conditions. Oh. Nonetheless, it was an awesome, incredible day. The temperature was amazing, it was warm, it was sunny, absolutely beautiful outside. Unfortunately, now Italy has locked down again due to COVID, but I've still got some more videos that I'm gonna be putting out for you guys, and I can still ride my bike locally, so there's still gonna be plenty of content coming your way. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and tell me where to ride next.